Hey guys, what is going on? It is Mini Tough, and today I wanted to be showing you guys my rain meter theme. In lots of my Windows tutorials, you guys are like, hey, what is your rain meter theme? Or some, some of you guys are like, what's your desktop background? And it's, it's not a background, by the way, but it, it's a rain meter. It's an amazing program, and I want to be showing you my theme. It's a combination of a bunch of themes that look very similar, and I've got it running here. And it looks pretty sweet, so here's the link to rain meter. Go ahead and download and install this. Um, I'm not going to be showing you every step on installing Rain Meter because, I mean, well, not installing, but setting up your theme. It's not as simple as you would hope. It is easy, but it's not something that you're going to be off, you know, just figuring out real quick. It's, it's something that you do, you might need to do a little bit of Googling on, but if you don't want to do Googling, then just go ahead and comment down below. I want a Rain Meter tutorial, and maybe I'll make you guys a tutorial because I think Rain Meter is one of the coolest things ever it lets you totally customize your desktop and you can pretty much do whatever you want with it it started out with just a rain you know telling you the weather and all that stuff and and it became like amazing like it does all this stuff now it, it doesn't just tell you the time and the weather it became the best thing ever i think it's this is a killer feature for windows i wish there was something like this for mac i really really do so Go ahead and download this. I'm I'm just gonna be giving you a brief, you know, overview of what my theme looks like and how you can create it yourself. And I'll show you how to install one theme so you guys can get a feel for installing a theme. But it'll be real quick, nothing fancy. So I have a couple themes going on here. One of them is right here, Enigma. That's my main theme. So I'll show you what we got. If you go down here, you can click on the rain meter icon, and it shows you all of the stuff. And no, it's kind of an ugly layout, but what I want to show you here is my active skins. This is all the skins over here that are running. Nothing else, well, except for down here. This is one, too. So the way it works is you have your each one of your skins, and I'll show you the uh, calendar right here. Actually, we'll show you the clock. So you, don't, you can go down here and click on the clock. It will open that up. That's how you find them. Um, you know, you go through all the menus. And here is the clock. So what you can do is you can click on it and... My, I have mine set to not be draggable, so I can't go over here and mess with them. But if I turn on draggable, what I can do is I can go over here and I can move these around. So you could put these anywhere you want. They can be pretty much anywhere, and if they should go behind. Yeah, see, they're, they're supposed to be behind everything. But I like mine. I have mine set up, you know, just to try to be as fancy as you can. And I think it looks really awesome. So I'm going to be showing you how my theme is set up and everything like that. So setting up Rain Meter is really simple. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this undraggable. And you could set up a lot of features here. You can do transparency and, and all that kind of stuff. So here, there's my themes. Go ahead and take a quick screenshot of this. But I have Black Glass, Enigma, which is a lot of them, Simple Rain, and Space. So all of the links are in the description right here. You can find Enigma, which is actually one of the main themes. This is what this is what you could do. Let me make that focus. Wow, that is amazing. Like, look at that. Imagine if you turn on your computer and it looked like that. That's crazy. But... I don't have it that good. Then you have a cool future, which this is what it, I guess, it could look like. But I'm not using all of these features here. I'm only using a few of them. You got simple rain, which is very simple. I just have a few things, which the drives down here and maybe the CPU usage. And then we've got space, which, whoa, this one's pretty sweet. I'm only using the uh, CP, not the CPU usage, the iTunes meter here and this part here. So then you've got black glass, which this looks very similar to mine, actually, but it's running a lot of different things. So... Yeah, just go ahead and download all these. Go download file, download file, download, download. I'll show you how to install them. So right now I'm going to show you how to install one of the features. We'll just do, we'll just do I, I Steve here. Why not? I want to show you how to install one of these. So let's just put the, the Google uh, search here. So go ahead and click download. This is just a, a simple you know, little tutorial on how to install a rain meter skin. So now that you've got it downloaded, you should go into your downloads folder. And you should, yeah, I've downloaded <laughs> a couple of this. This tutorial has been failed attempt many times, but so here it is. We've got iSteve and it should, if you've installed rain meter, make sure you've installed it before you do this. It should become this rain meter icon here. So all you need to do is go to your, you should be able to double click it and you can press install and you could do it that way. There are, if some downloads, you have to do it differently, but you could just go and double click and press install. You could do that. I, I'm not saying you can't. And then you could do, do, yeah, you could do that, but there is another way you could do it. You go to your libraries here. Or you can, you know, go to documents and then go down here to rain meter skins. And then you could, you know, open this up and add it here. So you can make a new folder called iSteve, open that up and add them all. You could do it that way, but the best way is to just double click on the rain meter and install it that way. But I wanted to show you manually. And you could see how small, here, let's see if I can undo that, delete. You can see, look how small this is. 
3.57 megabytes for an entire skin with this many features in it. Rain Meter is a very light running program. It should not lag your computer at all, which is amazing. So now you can go in here. There's nothing really that you need to do. The next step is to open up Rain Meter itself. So if it's running, it should be down here in your little, I don't even know what this thing is called, the toolbar set thing. Click on that and you should now see it inside here. You can open this up, open that up, and we'll go ahead and add in, where is the search? We'll go into search, search.ini, and press load, and it should now pop up, and that's that's it. Like, seriously, double-click that, it opens up Google, and you've done it. There's it's, it's pretty simple to set up. You can set up some features here, like what happens, you can make this draggable, so now I can't move it. You can make it, so click through, so clicking on it would do nothing. That's kind of pointless on this one. You can do keep on screen, so I don't know what that one does, actually. I think it makes it so it won't stay on save position snap to edges so i like to make my stuff you know position it around and you can change transparency you can put this thing up to 90 percent transparent pretty sweet i like my stuff at zero or maybe even like 10 that kind of looks cool but then you you know you can go on hover i want this thing to fade in so if you hover over it it will fade it well actually it has to be you know you have to have the transparency let's try, try this out we put this thing down to zero Oh, Windows, I hate you. Why you be so stupid? So you go in, it'll fade in. It's a pretty cool feature. You can do, you know, you can set up a lot of things. You can do fade out, hover over it, save in. Okay. Noob. Hide. There's lots of cool things you can do, but I like to, you know, this is just a quick tutorial. So you can set up other things here. You can go into your CPU, double click that to load it. And it will give in your CPU usage, you know, lots of other things. I don't want to be showing you, you know, how to actually do all this. But this is just a quick tutorial on setting up your skins. There's lots of other things you can do in here. But this is just how you add a skin. Then what you need to do is download my other skins and you can add each one. I'm sure, take a big screenshot of what this looks like. You can get everything added in here. And all of these things do work. So if I click this, it should open up iTunes. Yeah, there you go. So... That all of these things actually work. They're not just sitting there doing nothing. All of this stuff is accurate. This is how much stuff is on my drive. This is uh, all this stuff. This is the weather forecast for where I live. This is my CPU usage. This is the time. This All this stuff is accurate. So that's what I really like about it. And it's just so simple. And it's so clean. You can, you can pretty much do anything you want. So if you want to get rid of a skin, you go over it here. You can just double click that. Press unload and it's gone. So we'll do that. We can do that for all of the feature, all of the stuff here. So we got active skins. We'll go down to iSteve CPU. We will unload that, and we will go down here. We'll unload that. So I really like this, and you can go in and open the folder, and we'll delete iSteve. So we'll go skins, and boom, it is gone. Ba boom, close. We can close that, and well, now it's gone. So what well, should be? Why are you gone? There we go. <laughs> Refresh. So that's it, guys. I, I just wanted to show you real quick what how you get my skin. All of the links will be in the description. So I'm using Enigma for most of my stuff. We've got Cool Future, Simple Rain here, and then we've got Space and Black Glass. That is all of the things that I'm using to pull off my Rain Meter skin. Also, you're going to need a transparent bar down here. And I'm sure you can figure that out. And a black background. So that will really help it out. Otherwise, some of this stuff would look really weird. And you would see black bars. Like, right, if you, I don't know if you can see, but if you look really close, there's a black line here. And if you look really, really close, there is a time on this. This thing is not just moving to be moving. It's actually a clock. But I, I like it because it moves and it makes it so look so fancy. But that's, that's it, guys. You can go at it and, you know... To link this up with your where your time zone is, all you have to do is you go, you can open up Rain Meter, you go here, and depending on what skin it is, this is a, actually a Enigma skin, so you can go to Options, double click that, and you can come in here and you can customize all of this stuff here, and it's kind of crazy looking, but that's pretty much what you can do. You can go and change all this stuff. So right now I have it set to volume step 5%, so every time I, I click on this, it will go up 5% from where it is. Process time, this is the refresh time. Uh, you can you know you can change in all of this kind of stuff here. It's pretty sweet. Go and change the weather and your your apps and oh man, search options. There's lots of great things. Each each theme has its own settings. Well, depending on what themes, some themes do not even have a setting. So you know, it's a cool future. I don't even think this has a settings. Yeah, I doubt it. So you know, depending on what you have, we'll have a different stuff here. So I don't want to be going too long. This is already 10 minutes of 
really nothing so that's it for this video guys i just wanted to show you that i get a lot of questions and i wanted to clear that up so i will see you in the next video and i hope that you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next video. peace out